So we're working with about 15 national governments in Asia, Africa and Latin America, as well as a number of city authorities to help them to develop strategies to reduce air pollution. Now, the way we do that is to look at strategies that both address air pollution and climate change at the same time. Now, if I give an example of, of the sorts of coherent strategies we're looking at, if we look at transport, then um, getting people around the city, you know, one way to reduce the emissions is to get people to shift away from their cars and take public transport. But it also matters how that public transport is delivered. So you could either have a natural gas or Euro 6 diesel bus, which will address air pollution, but it won't do anything for climate change. Now, instead of that, you could have electric buses. And as long as those electric buses are powered by renewable energy, you will address the air pollution as well as the climate change. But also, if we um, look at moving around the city and promoting walking and cycling, not only can we address air pollution and climate change, but we will also have a healthier population by getting people to move around more, uh, reduce uh, the cost to the health service, and we can address all of these issues together by trying to promote these coherent policies.